What's going on YouTube? This is Ultima Eye Device Vids, and this is Tweak Recap. And as always, I'm going to be showing you guys five of the best idea tweaks that are compatible with the latest version of iOS that is capable of running a jailbreak. At this time, it's iOS 8.1.2, and I have some really great tweaks to show you in this video. You know, there's a really exciting one at the end that allows you to actually run several applications, you know, right on your screen on your device at the same time. So true, you know, multi-window multitasking, and of course, there's a bunch of other great tweaks as well. And with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, and the first tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called OXO Legacy Edition. It's available on Cydia for $1.99. However, if you did own OXO 3, OXO 2, or the original version of OXO, you could download this version for only $0.99. Cents. And as the name suggests, this tweak will bring the original style of OXO back from iOS 6 and iOS 5 to the latest version being iOS 8. And as you can see, it does look very similar, you know, just how everything's laid out with the smaller app previews down here. And it does function in a very similar way, of course, to open an app, you just tap on it like that. And of course, if I just swipe up from the bottom of the screen like this, here's the interface again, and I could tap on another application to load it up. Now, you don't even have to tap, you could also swipe, as you can see right here. So if I just swipe up on an application, as you can see, we have these very smooth animations and it will open up the application. So I'll just show you that one more time. If we swipe up from the bottom of the screen, as you can see, you could just swipe up like that and it will open the app. And it's very fast, these animations, and they're very smooth. As you can see, how everything just kind of parts. So everything parts away from the app down there and how the current open application will move to the side like that. It's just very smooth and very fluid. And there are some settings to configure for this tweak. But before I get into those, I just want to show you some of the other things that you could do with this tweak. So if you slide over just like this, you have the music controls right here. And as you can see right there, it looks very nice. You know, just everything is laid out correctly. If we step over one more time, we do have the control center section. And you could scroll down to access the quick launch toggles down there. And of course, there's our brightness slider. So as you can see, you know, you probably already figured this out. This is not a direct copy of the original version of OXO from iOS 6. As you can see, it's been redesigned, you know, rethought out for iOS 8 and just, you know, modernized in general. And again, if you go into settings on your device, scroll down to OXO Legacy Edition, you do have various things you could configure in here to your liking. I'm not gonna go over everything with you, but something I do wanna show you is in advanced options, you do have the ability to choose which page it will open up to last. So for example, by default, it's set to app switcher. So when I open up the switcher here, as you can see, it's gonna go straight to this page. However, you could also you know, choose between any of these things. So the playback page, and that's the music page over here, or the settings page, which is control center. Or you could just have it so it remembers the last page and it will open up to that. And also, something else I want to mention is if you double press the home button just like this, as you normally would, you still have access to the normal app switcher. So it's great. You don't lose anything with this. You still have the ability to use the normal app switcher. You just have the ability to use this new tweak as well. However, some of you may be wondering, you know, some of you may be concerned that access to Control Center will be slower. And, you know, as you can see by default, that is true. You have to swipe over two times and then you'll be in Control Center. But as I just showed you, if you want uh, th the Control Center to be there immediately, you could just uh, have it so it opens directly up to the settings page being Control Center. As you can see, if I swipe up, it'll just take me right here and I have all these controls. And of course, then you could just swipe over if you want to access the other options. And again, that was why I wanted to show you, you know, the last open to option. And again, there's various other things you could do in here as well. I'm not going to go over all of it, but that's pretty much the gist of this tweak. It's very smooth and very responsive. It's just a very fast way to switch between applications and, you know, switch music, access controls. And part of the reason of that is the creators who made this tweak are two very talented and very famous people. Ryan Petrich is the developer of this tweak, and he's very well known in the jailbreak community. Basically, you know, what people think when they think of him is, you know, if he, if he developed this piece of software, it's going to work very well, and it's just going to be very smooth. And as you can see with this tweak, that's definitely the case. It's just extremely responsive, just very stable piece of software, and it's just really nice to use. You know, no bugs, nothing like that. And the same thing with Century and designing, you know, everything he designs just looks very smooth, it looks very nice and modern, and, you know, same thing with this tweak. As you can see, everything looks very great with this tweak, everything's laid out perfectly, and again, everything just looks great. So with a combination of these two people, um, this tweak, you know, there's no doubt, there's no reason why this tweak wouldn't be great. So once again, it's called OXO Legacy Edition, it's available in Cydia. For $1.99, but if you own another version of OXO, it's only $0.99. Cents. And next up, we have Transition. This one's available in Cydia for $1.99. 
And this tweak brings transitions when you slide to unlock. So nice, you know, animations, as you can see right here. This is my personal favorite. It's called bars, and it's just this nice transition when you slide to unlock. There are various ones to choose from in the settings application. So after you install the tweak, go into settings and scroll down to transitions and go in there or transition. And anyways, in here, you want to make sure the tweak's enabled. Then you could go to animation and you have various animations to choose from. Again, my personal favorite is bars, but again, there's various here. Let's just try a few of them. Let's try um, split horizontal. This is another one of my personal favorites. And I really do like this one because it's like a sliding door. I'll show you as you can see right here. Very nice effect, how it just, you know, splits in the middle like that. And again, you could choose between any of these. There's even a random option, so you could get a different transition every single time you slide. Uh, I'm personally not into that because I like to have, you know, one thing that I know and like to show up every single time. But as you can see, it's just going to put a different one in every single time. But again, I prefer the bars one or split horizontal. So I'm just going to go ahead and change it back to bars. And I'll show you that one one more time because I personally think that's the best one in here. And there we go. Pretty nice animation. And it's pretty much it for the settings. As you can see here, there's not much else in the settings. There's links to the developer's uh, Twitter account, so if you want to follow them, you could do that. But again, that's pretty much it for this tweak. And once again, it's called tr Transition. It's available in Cydia for $1.99. And next up, we have On Tap Music. It's available in Cydia for free. And this tweak will bring a music controller to reachability. So reachability is the feature that allows you to you know, bring down the screen to access things that are on the top of the screen easier with one hand. Uh, this does come with the iPhone 6 Plus and the iPhone 6. However, you can actually install it on, on an older device if you're jailbroken using a tweak called Reach All. And if you want to learn more about that, I do have another episode of Tweak Recap with that tweak featured in it in the description. But this is the tweak right here, Reach All. You could install Reachability on your older devices. But either way, it will allow you to add uh, music controls to Reachability. And once again, this tweak's called On Tap Music. So as you can see right here, we could play music, control volume, skip songs, you know, go back songs. You could even control the scrubber as you can see. And again, it just, you know, fills that space that usually doesn't have anything with something useful. And the great thing is it doesn't have any effect on the functionality of it. As you can see right here, you know, I could access things the exact same way with reachability. It just adds, again, that, you know, music control up there if I want to use it. There are some settings to configure for it in the settings application. If you go down to on tap music, go in there. And, of course, make sure the tweak is enabled. You can go to configuration, and, again, you can configure a few things. But that's pretty much the idea of the tweak that I just gave you. And, once again, it's available in Cydia for free. And next up is the Harlem Shake Tweak. And this one's been around for a very long time. It's a funny tweak, and, you know, that may sound a little bit crazy, but, yes, it allows your iPhone to do the Harlem Shake. And uh, basically, to install it, what you need to do is open up Cydia, and you will need to add a special repository. It's the CP Digital Darkroom Repo. I will have the repo text in the description down below, so you could add it. Just select Edit Add and add in the text that's in the description. And once you've added the repo that's in the description, just search for Harlem Shake and install it on your device. After that, you're going to need to set it up through Activator. So go ahead and open up Activator on your device. Then you're going to go to Anywhere and choose a gesture in order for your iPhone to start doing the Harlem Shake. I'm going to use a triple press the home button. As you can see here, I already started using it, or I already set it up, and there it is, Harlem Shake. Make sure you just tap on Harlem Shake. And after that, just go ahead and perform your gesture, and I'll show you what happens. Yeah, so there you go. Basically, you know, one icon starts moving and then all the others go crazy afterwards. It does not work inside applications. Of course, as you saw, it works on the home screen and it also works on the lock screen. So I'll show you on the lock screen as well. It's pretty much the same idea, but here we go. So one element will start moving. Uh, this time it's the clock, you know, a random element will start moving. Just that's randomized and then everything will go crazy. And there you go. <laughs> I 
All right, so once again, that's called the Harlem Shake Tweak. It's available in Cydia for free. And, you know, the tweak was around back on iOS 6. However, the developer of the tweak, you know, back on iOS 6 never updated it for iOS 7, iOS 8, or any of the newer devices. But, you know, a new developer has done that. And thanks to him, we're able to enjoy it on our new firmwares and new devices. And the fifth and final tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called Multify. It's available in Cydia for $5. And that's pretty expensive for a tweak. Once you understand what this tweak does, I think you're going to understand. So this tweak not only allows you to quickly switch between the applications on your device, so you could you know, quickly multitask, switch between apps, but it also allows you to run various applications on your device at the same time. And I don't just mean, you know, the, you know something like the app switcher. I mean, you could literally run several applications on the screen at the same time. So you could have several windows open on your device. It is true, you know, full screen multitasking. And after you install the tweak, you're going to need to go into settings on your device and scroll down until you do see a Multify and go in there. And the first thing you want to do is go into Multify Activator Methods. And in here, just choose a gesture. And this is a gesture that's going to be used in order to get the tweak to show up. So again, I used a triple press of the home button. You could use any gesture you want. And then after that, you want to go back and you also want to select Edit Activator or Activation Methods. And you also want to make sure you have a gesture set for this. And the edit, you know, option is what allows you to uh, have multiple windows, multiple applications open on your device on the screen at the same time. And after you've done that, just go ahead and perform the first gesture, which for me is a triple press of the home button. Then you're going to get this little plus button and you can move it around your screen like this. And if you tap on it, what will happen is you're going to get this menu right here. Here you can scroll through all the applications on your device and to begin using this tweak, just tap on an application. And as you can see right here, we have this smaller window. And here we can interact with the application as you can see completely normally. And if you want to add another application, so if you want to switch between two applications quickly, you could select plus, then choose another app. I'm going to choose calculator. And now we could switch between these two applications as you could as you can see just by tapping. And of course they're both usable just like this. This is what I was talking about the first thing, how you could quickly multitask, switch between two applications at the same time. Um, now, if you want to actually run two apps at the same time, so have, have two applications on the screen at once, you need to use your second gesture, which for me is a short hold of the home button. So that's what I just did, and as you can see, the application will go gray. And now what we do is we just pinch like this, and this will allow us to resize the window, and of course we can move it around like that. You could also you know, reposition it on the screen. Once you're happy with your position, just short hold again, or do whatever your second gesture is. And now, as you can see, we have this little window, and the application is still functional. Now, here's the cool part. As you can see, I could open up another app, and I'm interacting with this application, the health application, and I can also interact with the health application. So this is true multitasking right here on iOS. Now, let's say we wanted to add another window to our device, another smaller window. You need to tap on you know, this little circle up here. Then you're going to have the ability to select plus again, and you could add another app. I'm going to add, let's say, the podcast application so we tap on that and then of course you know the first time you tap on it it's going to open up in this menu that I showed you earlier to get it to resize once again you have to short hold or do whatever your second gesture is then you could resize it and make it into a smaller window you could drag it around and then do your gesture again once you're happy with your position and boom here we go we have two applications two small windows working as you can see at the same time they're both functional and now you could also open up a bigger application so if you just tap on an application on the home screen as you can see it'll open up full screen and of course we could also interact with this application and you know any other windows you have so now we are now running three apps on our device at the same time that's insane you know that's something that apple never allowed us to do and it's crazy that we're able to do this and of course not only on an ipad on an iphone on an ipod touch as you can see right here so it's crazy just what you're able to do and of course this would be most useful on bigger devices like the ipad or the iphone 6 plus but as you can see it works perfectly fine on something like an ipod touch or iphone 5s something like that and if you want everything to go away, you just triple press the home button again. As you can see, it all goes away. And if you triple press it again, as you can see, everything will come back. If I just do that one more time, there we go. As you can see, everything comes back. And if you want the uh, small windows to go away, you just need to open up the application in full screen mode. So for example, calculator, if I just tap on the actual application, there, as you can see, just open up at full screen and the window disappears. Same thing with you know podcasts. I'll just show you. Open that up. As you can see, it'll open up at full screen and the window will disappear. So that's how you remove the windows. 
So Multify is a very impressive tweak, and you know it's definitely worth the five dollars if you want to have full screen multitasking on your device. And again, once again, this is absolutely crazy that we're able to do this. It's um, been years people have been wanting a tweak like this, and it's really awesome that we finally have one. And something I want to show you with this tweak is when you select plus, you, you can set it so specific applications will show up at the top here. So for example, if we're using this tweak with you know, some applications very frequently, you could set it so those applications will show up at the top. You do that in settings on your device, you just select favorite apps, then it will give you a list of all the apps on your device. You could just toggle any app that you want to show there. And after you do that, as you can see, when we select plus, it's going to show at the top, you know, ready just like that, you know, so it's quick, ready to go. You could tap on an app, then you could, you know, do whatever you want with it, whether it be switch between it or, you know, make it a window, whatever you want to do. And once again, this tweak's incredibly amazing. It's available in Cydia for $5. I know that's pretty pricey, but as you can see right here, it's an amazing tweak. It allows you to do some amazing things. And again, it's definitely worth it if you like what you see. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, and add me in Google+. And again, that's all for this video. I'll see you guys later.